What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Samurai Black Zach. Hey, man, I wanted to do this video for about two months now, and I never really actually got the chance because I wanted to see exactly what was going to happen next. And apparently, nothing happened afterwards. And I'm talking about specifically about the hurt business. Yes, the hurt business. Let's, let me do a recap about it. MVP. No, no, no. Let me go way before MVP came to the movie. Bobby Lashley was me as a jobber. Shelton Benjamin was a jobber. Cedric Alexander was a jobber. And he was the youngest of the group. So, let me explain exactly what their roles are when they were jobbers at the time. Jobber number one, Bobby Lashley. He was supposedly in an on-screen relationship with Lana. And clearly, he wasn't going anywhere with, with that little fake rom interracial romance that was going on. Now, at first, I thought, you know, it was all right. I mean, Bobby Lashley, Lana, and the pretend romance. It was decent at all, don't get me wrong. But it didn't match the Attitude Arrows romances and uh, <clears throat> Aggression Arrow romances, let's put it like that. Now, Shelton Benjamin, when he came to back to WWE in 2017, he started. He came back as a tag team partner for Wish Chad Gable. And unfortunately, that wasn't going anywhere either, so when they broke up the crew, he just became a jobber. Barely getting any screen time whatsoever. Cedric Alexander, another jobber, talented high flyer, cruiser, former cruiserweight champion, no doubt. Should have been tag team champion Ricochet, but at the same time, it's like, nah, it was a waste of time. So all three of those guys were just jobbers. MVP comes back to WWE in the Royal Rumble of 2020. Later on, he became the voice of of the Hurt Business. Recruiting, if it wasn't for MVP, those three guys that I mentioned earlier, they still would have been jobbers with no careers whatsoever. Shoot, that, if that's the case, if MVP wasn't there, they may as well go to AEW or Ring of Honor or Impact Wrestling. You know, other wrestling promotions besides World Wrestling Entertainment. Because clearly, WWE is not paid any of enough. First, he recruits Bobby Lashley successfully. Now, if you don't know, MVP and Bobby Lashley actually worked together in Impact Wrestling back in the day. Bobby Lashley became a four-time TNA World Heavyweight Champion thanks to MVP being the uh, the black version of Paul Heyman and Bobby Lashley being the black version of Brock Lesnar. Let's put it like that. All right. With that, so if that worked in TNA. I guarantee it was going to work in WWE. When MVP, when, when Bobby Lashley teamed up with MVP and left Lana in the dust, he was doing a little bit better one step at a time beforehand. When they recruited Shelton Benjamin into the mix. Now remember, Benjamin barely got any screen time for and keeps getting put over by the younger talent. Now I don't mind the younger talent being shiny stars and all, but Shelton Benjamin needs some wins in his life. And he needs the years ago I said Shelton Benjamin should be world heavyweight champion, but at this point in my life, I don't know if he could I, I don't think he's gonna do it. If any case, he should be at least intercontinental champion or a two-time United States champion, like Bobby Lashley did. But we'll get get to that later. They recruited him, and that's when the perp business was slowly starting to build up. All they needed was one more member, and this member had to be a young guy. So you have three veterans from World Wrestling Entertainment who's been in wrestling for a very long time, and one young guy who can learn from, from those OGs that have been in wrestling for a very, very long time. And that's Cedric Alexander. When he betrayed Apollo Crews and Ricochet. That was the best thing that's, that's ever happened to me in my life, to be honest. So, you got four brothers 
in the company called, in the organization known as the Hurt Business. And they were dominating Monday Night Raw, the African American version of Evolution. And if you don't know who Evolution is, they consisted of Ric Flair, Triple H, Batista, and Randy Orton. Randy Orton and Batista at the time were the younger generation, the younger ones, while, Batista, while Triple H and Ric Flair were the OGs. But, but back to back to what I was talking about. Talking, the Hurt Business is basically the black is black excellence, just like New Day. The New Day had the New Day was a, is a trio was a trio group that lasted consistently of five long years. Now that's a good thing in my book. Five years being the ten time tag team champion that was dope. Same thing should have happened for the Hurt Business. So what happened? Let's see. Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander lose the tag team champions. When they lost those titles, I had a bad feeling that this was not gonna end, gonna, gonna go well. And as soon as I saw that clip of Bobby Lashley and MVP saying that they failed to to uh, beat up Drew McIntyre. I'm sorry, y'all. I, 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 I'm, I'm just pissed. I'm just really, really pissed at this. Because this group was literally what brought ratings to World Wrestling Entertainment. And the fact that Vinny, and the fact that Vinnie Mac had okayed for the Hurt Business to be a faction, I started to draw some respect. Earn, no, he earned piece by piece, little by little, my respect again. That's what made me watch Monday Night Raw. When they, when Vincent pulled the plug, matter of fact, the Hurt Business hasn't even been in the, hasn't even been in the game for about one full year. And you already pulling the plug on them? For what? Why? They were doing very successful. What, what was the what, what what's the point? What's going on, Vinny Mac? Exactly what is the problem? Why did you pull the, the herd business from being a faction? Kicking out Ale Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. Sure they lost the tag team champions, but they can always recuperate. That's what they should have done. They should have kept the momentum going, drawn in the fans, and let and just let people be happy. No, we can't have nice things anymore. So now that the Hurt Business is over, it's just MVP and Bobby Lashley. And to make matters worse, Cedric and Alex, they're breaking up Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. Like, come on, bro. We, we can't have nice things anymore, can we? We can't have nice things. And I also heard a rumor, well, this is just a rumor, that Stephanie McMahon said that it's the fans' fault that, um, the Hurt Business is done. Are you freaking kidding me, man? We ain't say nothing about the Hurt Business being the worst faction of all time. Coming up with, with BS lies and all that. We had, what, what are you talking about? We said nothing about disbanding the Hurt Business. If any consolation, you should be disbanding Retro... I don't know if they're still active right now, but Retribution needs to be disbanded. That was a waste of waste of time and effort trying to put them together. I'm sorry, but calling up the guys from NXT is the dumbest thing, right? And becoming members of uh, 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 Retribution with... Uh, um, What's his name? What's his name? Mustafa Ali being the leader. Horrible idea. They ain't. That's. They're basically pulling the same shit that they pulled when they created the Nexus. They pulled. And this reminds me of the time when Aces and Ace were around. Now don't get me wrong. I still love Aces. I like Aces and Ace. No cap. I like the motorcycle gimmick. The story could have been a, a lot more efficient, but I like the story. I like the uh, motorcycle. Gimmick. But anywho, I'm just pissed at the fact that they would really break up the Hurt Business like it's a thing out here now. <sighs> My only hope is that they make up for this stuff. 
They better add more members to the Hurt Business. Matter of fact, they may as well, if they do add more members to the Hurt Business, it's not gonna be the same without Sean or Alec, Cedric Alexander. Cause they're literally just making them jobbers again. And that really disappoints me and breaks my heart that some, something like this would happen. But anywho guys, uh, that's all I gotta say right now. It's your boy, the Afro Roni Samurai Black. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace and blessings. Keep your heads up to the sky. Dream big. And God will be by your side to uh, return your favors. Peace.